Hey guys, this is my first look for my Halloween series. I have been lovingly calling this one the Ice Bitch, also the Ice Queen for a little bit more PG version, but if you would like to see how I created this look, go ahead and stay tuned and I will show you how it came to be. First I started out by applying some silver face paint all over my face with a beauty blender and, and then priming my eyes and then starting with a light to medium pink in the inner corner and then blending a red eyeshadow into the crease. Then I took a bright purple and kind of made a wing but instead of going into the center of my lash line I just brought that straight into the crease where the red is blended. Adding a deep purple all over my eyelid and blending that out with a more lavender shade and just sharpened up that bright purple again just so it didn't get too blurred out. And doing the same to the other eye. And now just covering up any fallout with some more silver face paint and bringing that bright purple eyeshadow underneath on the lash line. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows with a blue mascara. and then darkening the ends with that same bright purple eyeshadow, adding some glitter liner to my eyebrows and covering that with a mixture of sugar and glitter. Now powdering my whole face so I can add a purpley toned blush to my cheeks and the tip of my nose. Adding more of the glitter liner to my cheeks along with the sugar and glitter mix. And since I already did my lips in a gray lipstick, I'm going to add a little bit of purple to the outer corners. And then line the very outside corners with that same glitter liner as before. And this is the easiest way to do this, and it looks very silly, but if you look straight up into a mirror, and I had to use my glasses because I'm totally blind, paint white lines straight from your chin down to about your mid-chest, all about an inch apart. And then once those dry, add a silvery blue to the very tops and blend that along your jawline. And underneath that, add a little bit deeper of a blue, and then the same bright purple that you used on the outer corners of your eyes, to the very bottom. And where your skin is still showing, add some black face paint to fill in any blank spaces. And at the end of every black space, I'm kind of rounding it out because I wanted the purple shapes to be a little bit more sharp. And then clean everything up with a makeup wipe or a baby wipe if you have to. I had to do this quite a few times. And then I'm just deepening the bottom corners of each purple space with that same dark eyeshadow that we used over the lids. Just to give it a little bit more depth. And then over all of the black spaces, I'm using a matte black eyeshadow to blend everything together and make sure it's not too patchy or streaky. And now I'm just lining my jawline with a dark eyeshadow pencil and blending that into the tops of all the dark spaces so there's no gaps.
and just contouring with a little bit of that silvery blue eyeshadow and adding more of that gel glitter to my forehead with some of the sugar and glitter mix and using some eyelash glue to glue some gems to my forehead and now I'm just going to spray my whole head with some silver hairspray I'm just adding a little bit of black liquid liner with the tiniest wing I could possibly do so I can hide the lash band when I add my false lashes after. And adding some black liner to my waterline. White shadow to the inner corners of my eyes. And now I'm blending a little bit of the same white liner as before to the inner corners of my eyes and making a dramatic inner wing. I'm blending that into the black liner so that there's no harsh lines. And these lashes I actually got at the dollar store and added some lash glue to each of the longer sections and then just dipped them in that glitter and sugar mix. And now adding some dollar store Christmas decorations to my hair. I thought that fit kind of well because there was silver glitter all over them. And just pinning up the rest of my hair in the back. And this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more Halloween looks. Leave any comments below if you have any suggestions. Thanks for watching. Bye!